have decided to get into bikes. I don't have a license yet, or even a helmet, but I thought I'd get a bike anyway. So I've been searching on Gumtree, and this is what I found. It's a Zontez Tiger 125. Advertised at £250 as a non-runner. The guy had never had it started, he bought it without a spark, and he couldn't get it to run. So I went round, picked it up for 220. The guy had changed the magneto, he'd changed the coil, he'd changed the CDI. So let's see if I can get this thing started. 220 pounds, full logbook, not had its first MOT, hasn't been running in over a year. Will it start? It does have all the pieces with it though, there's the magneto that it took off because it's got a new magneto on it. We've got the fuel tank, the seat, the uh, side panels. It's all there, 99% complete. It just really needs indicators and a side stand. So the bike doesn't have a spark. The person who had it before had tried loads of things, but they couldn't get it to spark either. I did email Zontes to ask them if they had a PDF of the user manual and the next day, well it was a, a Saturday evening that I emailed them and on Monday I got an email back with a download for the PDF so you know thanks a lot to Zontes for being you know nice and kind and giving me the stuff I needed even though it's a second user bike nice looking bike as well so go and have a look at the Zontes website anyway I've got the wiring diagram taken the seat off to reveal the wirings oh uh, I think that's the CDI unit I know absolutely nothing about motorcycles I don't even have a license or a helmet uh, I don't know what that is but I'm sure I'll find out the rectifiers up there this is a I do know that this is a AC CDI because it comes off the magneto which I will check I mean when I bought the bike the guy changed the magneto and gave me the one that was out of this so this has got a new magneto in it but still no spark so I've got a wiring diagram I've got a multimeter I've got a working battery I can't press it with both fingers but it works trust me so I'll go and check out YouTube and the internet and see how you diagnose these things I checked on the internet and the resistance between the primary coil on the ignition should be between 2 to 5 ohms but you have to check your service manual and I don't have one uh, mine only has one connection that goes to the CDI and I've checked the continuity of that cable and it's not broken so I presume the other connection is the earth and if I check the resistance between 
what would be those two connections. Here and there. And then try and get over to the meter. Suddenly got windy when I came outside. Trust me, it's 1.5 ohms. Between the two connectors, we've got about 1.2 ohms. holding the camera and the leads about 1.2 ohms I don't know if that's enough and between the secondary coil we're looking at between 11,000 and 15,000 ohms so if I put this up the spark plug And this on either of the other two connections, I'll put it to the earth. I have 11,000 ohms, which is just on the minimum, so could be a potential coil. Well, I've managed to get a spark, but we're still not starting. I've had to switch the fuel tap to reserve, so there's probably not much petrol in this. But this is all I've got left. See what happens. Well, it started, if you remove this from there, which is supposed to be like an anti-theft, the only drawback is, you can't turn it off. There's no kill switch. So there's obviously something messed up with the wiring somewhere, but it's running. So I just need to further investigate what that wiring mess is and why it won't turn off. Laters. So I think I've found it. I put this in and the bike runs.
the person I bought it off had these two wires joined together he said that they were the side stand safety switch he had them joined together the bike wouldn't start with those joined together and this plugged in if I separated those tables and plugged that in the bike starts and turns off just got to do the mixture because it sounded a bit sputtery and coffee that's done will it run? yes it will